Okay, systems of linear equations so that you guys can work on your ridge review and just review on your systems of linear equations. I have two different problems here. Um, we're going to write the system, we're going to solve the system, we're going to come up with an answer. So I always say when you're thinking of systems and you have problems like this and you can read the problem here, typically I always think of one equation is going to deal with kind of like the quantity, how many I have, and the other value. They tend to do a lot of times things with money or uh, mixture problems where I think the one you have for homework um, for the Ridge Review deals with um, a T and the T is different prices. So this is what we're dealing with here is a cash drawer. So the cash drawer has a combination of five and one dollar bills. So some of the bills, I'm going to say the $5 bills, I'm going to call them X, and the $1 bills, I'm going to call them Y. And however many I have, that total is going to be 27. Meaning, if I have 20 $5 bills, then I have seven $1 bills. If I had 15 $5 bills, then I would have 12 $1 bills. So that's my quality, not quantity quantity. Now the value of these bills, however many bills I have, $5 bills, they're each worth $5. And however many $1 bills I have, they're each worth $1. I'm going to get rid of that one in a minute. And the total value of this is $67. So since I have one Y, it can erase the one, it's an understood one. So once again, however many bills I have, $5 bills, and then however many $1 bills I have. I need both of these, though, because once again, there's a great um, amount of controversy here. I could have 12 $5 bills. That would give me $60. Let's just say, for instance, 12 of that. And let's say over here, then I would have 7 but 12 plus 7 is not 27. It's 19. So, yes, you can do this with guess and check but it becomes a giant time suck. So we're going to use um, a system. You can use a few different methods. On this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do elimination. Because I noticed that if I subtracted these two, y minus y would give me zero. So I'm gonna subtract x minus 5x is going to give me negative 4x. And y minus y is going to give me 0. And 27 minus 67 is obviously going to give me negative 40. When I divide both sides by negative 4, I get x is equal to 10. And remember, 10 was my value for $5 bills. So for $5 bills, we're saying there's 10 of them. To find the number of $1 bills, I'm going to put that in here. So 10 plus what number equals 27? I could subtract 10 from both sides, and I get that 17. I'm going to check that in my bottom equation here. Five, 10 times 5 is $50 in $5 bills, plus $17 in $1 bills equals 67. So I was able to do that problem. I was able to write both equations. I identified which way I was going to solve it, um, and I solved it. Now, just for example, let's say you wanted to do the same equations, but you wanted to solve it by substitution. I'm not saying you'd want to, but you might. Equals 67. In that case, you want to take one of the equations and set it equal. Let's say I subtracted y from both sides here. I would have x equals 27 minus y. I then would substitute that in for x. So where this x is, instead I would put in 27 minus y plus y 
equals 67. So now, you see this is taking much longer. 5 times 27 is 135. 5 times negative y is negative 5y plus y equals 67. So now I would have 135 minus 4y equals 67. I would subtract 135 from both sides. And I would get 67 minus 135 is negative 68. Negative 4y equals negative 68. When I divide that 68 by negative 4, I get 17. Remember, y was my $1 bills. So like I saw before, I have 17. I have 17 $1 bills. And that would mean I would have 10 $5 bills. So it's a matter of which way works best for you. I think elimination works best, but you could do this problem with substitution. Okay, and this one gets a little bit more complicated. The modern grocery has cashews that sell. So cashews are $4 a pound. And peanuts that sell for $2.25. How much of how much how much of each must Albert the grocer mix to get 70 pounds of a mixture he can sell for three dollars? So let's first talk about the quantity. And I'm not going to use X and Y. I'm going to use C for cashews and P for peanuts to help me keep this straight. So the number of cashews. So the number of pounds of cashews and the number of pounds of peanuts has to equal 70, okay? That is my quantity, one. So my, for my value one, cashews are $4. I need to put a C there. Peanuts are $2.25, okay? And my value is, I want it total, okay, it's going to be, these are the prices. It's going to be $3 per pound. And how many pounds did I say I was going to have to have? 70. So $4 of some pounds of cashews. I don't know what that is yet. Two twenty-five of some pounds of peanuts. I don't know what, how many pounds of peanuts I need yet. But I know that when I get done, I'm going to have three pounds that sell for 70, sorry, 70 pounds that sell for $3. So this is going to end up being equal, three times 70. To 210. That number right here is what most people get wrong when they're setting up a system involving a problem like this and that has things of different pounds that you're mixing. It is like what you have on Ridge Review number three where it says you're going to end up making uh, 20 kilograms at 250 a kilogram. So your total value there is your 20 times 2.5. So there's a few different ways to do this one. I like um, elimination, and I also like multiplying or dividing first. So I'm going to use that, because if I can get this C to be worth negative 4 C, I can cancel that out. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 4. So this, is, this equation becomes negative 4 C. Negative 4 times P becomes negative 4 P. And negative 4 times 70 becomes negative 280. So 4C and negative 4C cancels out. 2.25 minus 4 is negative 1.75P. And 210 minus 280 is obviously negative 70. If I divide both sides by 1.75, so negative 70 divided by 1.75 negative, I have 40, need 40 pounds of peanuts. So if peanuts are 40 pounds 
and I have a total of 70 pounds, cashews must be 30 pounds. Let's check and see if that works in this equation here. So 4 times 30 is 120. 2.25 times 40 is 90. And 120 plus 90 is 210. It checks out. So hopefully those two problems should really help you be able to do your Ridge Review this week. Um, it's only three problems. It's more questions because I want to actually see the equations that you write and I want you to tell me which system, um, which way you're using to solve it. If you're using substitution, elimination, if you're graphing, um, although I would not suggest you graphing because obviously on a test or something you're not always, uh, don't always have graphing technology nearby to do that. So I hope this has helped.